Hello guys, Tito Steve here and we've got a short instructional video. So this is for OBS and the El Cheapo capture device. Because there have been people asking na paano ba to paganahin sa OBS? So it's a very affordable device, very accessible device locally. So if you want to get started on your streaming dreams, ito na yun para sa inyo. And if you guys are new to this channel, I hope you hit that subscribe button and the notification button as well if you want to see more content like this and other retro gaming shenanigans and whatnot so anyways back to OBS so I'm going to assume that you guys are already familiar with adding a video capture source so just hit the plus button then go to video capture device click OK then you get this menu and then choose USB video this is the name of the device that we just installed and then if everything is good you should be able to get the feed already from the console or whatever um, video capture no not video capture whatever HDMI video device you have hooked up to the capture device and then okay so let's jump into a game really quickly so at the get-go it doesn't look that great kind of choppy kind of disappointing diba? so yeah it doesn't look that great at first but as I was saying, this device can support 60 FPS if you set the resolution to 720p. So we're going to go and do that right now. So you just have to open the properties and then under resolution FPS, select custom and then pick 1280 by 720. And then for the FPS, you can leave it at match output or just select 60 FPS. Then resize this. There we go. So you got full screen again. So there you go, it's looking much better, right? And then the next is going to be audio. So for audio, go back to the properties and usually capture cards already have this option for selecting the associated audio device. So first we're going to be outputting either direct sound or wave and then go to custom audio device and select USB digital audio. But if you look at this, there's actually a delay so that, again, you find this disappointing again. So one way to fix this is to actually see, and then here you can see there is still a delay. So the best way to remedy this would be not selecting the audio device here at all so uncheck that and then just add the device manually as an audio input capture so let's select that again digital interface there you go so you're not sure if it's working yet on OBS right so just make sure to monitor it so go to the advanced audio properties for audio input capture and turn monitoring off just to check if the audio is working fine so just uh, we're not going to output this yet so just monitor and it's sounding much more insane right now But if you're still not completely satisfied with how that sounds, you still find it kind of not quite there. So you have the option to fine tune it here. You got sync offset. So I'm just gonna add like I don't know, 100 minutes. Ah, oh, that's. Ah, oh, that seems to be much better. What if I put it to 200 minutes? I think this is so if you set it on the video capture properties you had no op you had no way to adjust the timing the sync the delay whatever but if you add it manually you can you can fine-tune that and so that's it guys so hopefully this tutorial helps you a lot for getting getting your stream started <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed that leave a like leave a comment 
and I'll be responding to all of those. I'll be checking that out as soon as this video is up. And hopefully you guys subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time. So Tito Steve now signing out. Have a great day ahead everyone. Bye bye.